Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome back to Miss Independent Yugi. Thank you for always keeping on. Today, I'm here to do a video about Alvera. How to use Alvera gel to treat <coughs> UTIs or vaginal infections. I have a video, the same video actually, but it's in a in my local language. And one of my subscribers, you asked me if I can do a video about this in English. So this is what I'm doing. I'm replying to your comment. As I already said, if you have anything you want to know, if you have a question for me, if you want me to do any kind of video that is related to health, relationship, in the line of um, life stories, anything you want, you can leave it in the comment section. I'll be doing a video if it needs a video. And if it's just a question that I can answer through a reply, then I will reply you through the comment section. So basically today I'm going to talk about alvera, but I would love to combine it with water because we can treat ourselves uh, using water and alvera gel. These are the simplest ways I know, all the simplest remedies I know that can help you at least treat yourself home when you're not going to the hospital, you're not taking any tabs, you're not, being, you're not taking any injections, which is good and it's very like... It is at a low budget. Not even at, yeah, it's a low budget because some people do not have alvera at their home, so they will need to buy it. But if you don't have it, it means you, have, you, you will buy it. But if you have it in your home, you are well to go. You don't even need to spend a penny. So basically, what I'm going to be discussing, I'll start with alvera. We shall have to talk about how we extract the alvera gel the right way so that it can work for us. Uh, first of all, You'll have to get alvera gel. You'll have to get an alvera leaf. Then you cut it and put it facing upside down. Or facing down, not upside down, facing down. Let this, there is a green stuff that comes out. It's so toxic. Let it come out. It's like it's in liquid form and it always comes out if you've just cut your leaf and you just put it there. If you're just ordering your leaf from a... Uh, from hub up or anything you can just know that at least that is already it's not like so fresh in most cases they'll give it to you when it's fresh but they have already removed this toxic since it has been from the i mean it has been cut from its plant for at least a period of time from the stem so when you get your leaf uh, I'm talking about the person who is at home. Make sure that you extract this stuff by leaving it there to sit for 15 to 20 minutes. After, then get it, wash it very well. Cut our leaf into pieces. Then cut it in the middle, like horizontally. Then extract the gel. And I'll put a video for you down and you see how to extract the gel. Extract the gel from it, from the alvera. I mean from the alvera leaf, then you can put it in a blender and blend it. But if you don't have a blender, you can use a knife. There are knives that have sharp ends like for cutting bread, a small knife. I'll show you, I'll show you the kind of knife I'm talking about in our video. Then you can use this knife and extract the gel and you use it even without using a blender. I'm talking about a person who has a fridge. You can extract it and store it for in a fridge for like seven days up to seven days then that is the maximum after seven days i'll ask you to throw it away but if you're not using if you don't have a, a fridge in case then i would advise you to at least use make the portion that will be used for only a day then tomorrow or the following day you'll have to be making different portions this means you don't have to waste the whole leaf you just have to cut a small leaf then remove the gel there, I don't think you'll even need a blender. Then remove your gel, put it in a small bowel or in a small container, then use it throughout the day, then tomorrow do the same. After cutting our leaf and blending it, and blending the, removing the gel, blending the gel, you can get a small container that has a tight lid. Put it there, close it in your container, and you can store it in your fridge. How do you use it? Then you'll have, after shower, make sure you clean. You can use it twice a day or once it depends either morning or evening or you can use it morning and evening you just put your you dip your hand in the alvera gel the one you made and then apply it on the lips of your vagina or around your vagina or around your private part after that then we're good to go 
because that is it, I think, yeah, that is it. Just keep doing this for 14 days, but you have to see a change in the first seven days. But in case you do not see any change, then it doesn't mean that the, the alvera gel does not work. Because I've tried it, and I have, and I have people who have tried it, and they are giving me testimonies about this same thing. But if you're in a situation where you can't get the alvera, or you have allergies to alvera, I'll give you an alternative of drinking lots of water. A woman is supposed to be consuming lots of water, and it should be warm. But if you don't want to take warm water, because there are people who can't take warm water, you can take it at lukewarm water, like normal water, not cold. I would not. Uh, I would prefer you don't take cold water, because it it is it will it will not yield good results for us since we are treating something. If you can take at least the least you can take in a day, let it be two liters of water. But if you can take three, four, that is good to go. The more you consume water, since that the vagina is self-cleaning, the more you consume water, the more the infections will come out. Now you may ask me how do they come out through urine. If you go for a UTI test, of course they test your urine. Yes, those some hospitals use blood, but other hospitals use urine just to test the UTIs. Basically, this means whenever you pee out, you, when you have infections, you are leaving it down there. It means it's coming out through the urine, through your urine. So the more you urinate, the more you're washing your body, the more you're washing it out. The more you urinate, the more you're washing it out. This can help you at least to stay free from, to stay free from UTIs and vaginal infections and it can help you to heal if you have them. So my dear girls, do consider using that. If you can't get the alvera gel, and even if you have the alvera and you can use alvera, you can go with both of them, use alvera and water. Because water is costless, it's not going to cost you a penny, it's very cheap. Even if you're buying drinking water, yes, you are buying drinking water, but it's not too expensive, like someone who is going to be admitted in the hospital. You have to pay the consultation fee, you have to pay the medication bills, you have to pay, you know. So, at least it's saving you a lot of money. Allow me end here. Thank you for keeping on. Thank you for always loving me. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. In case you need anything, you want to know about anything, just leave it in the comment section for me. I'll be getting back to you. I'll be answering you if it needs just a reply. And if I need to do a video about it, I promise you I'll do a video about it. Anything that is in the line of health, relationships. Because uh, our, our channel talks about a lot of stuff. So, I'll end our video for today. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And another thing, do not forget to give me a